What is up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be going over several tips and pieces of information that you're going to want to know in Fortnite's avatar update, mainly focusing on these avatar mythic items, but there's a few other things we're going to touch on. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and comment down below which of these mythics is your favorite. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how you get these mythic items because you can just get them from regular looting they'll spawn as chest loot they'll spawn as floor loot but there's also temples that spawn in the same places and will have these mythics in every single match i'll have a picture of them on screen now each mythic item or each element has two temples on the map and like i already said the temples will have the mythic every game so if you're very intent on getting a specific mythic maybe landing near one of these temples uh could be beneficial for you but there is also a random chance for altars to spawn in other locations that you'll be able to interact with and then you'll get mythics from it i'm not really sure how these work but they will show on the map when the altar spawns there and they're not 100 percent spawn rate so like i'll have a clip on the screen now of like some altars i found in the train station near lavish and then the attic of this nearby building as well and I've gone there several times this season and those altars weren't there. So it seems like the altars are random, but they will show on the map when they do spawn outside of the temples. When it comes to the waterbender mythic, you can actually heal with this one when you're in the water. Uh, a lot of people know this. It'll heal five health per tick and I think a tick is every half second. So you heal relatively quick. Some confusion I've seen is people saying it doesn't work on the green water, the, the water that gives you Cerberus dashes. I've seen people say you can't heal in this water using the Waterbender Mythic. That is untrue. You can heal in the green water if you have this in your inventory and then you go into the water. And then I've also seen some debate on whether or not it works in the storm, and it does not work if you're in the storm. If you're currently taking damage, you're not going to heal in the water. And the storm will make it to where you're currently taking damage. So I should have had footage playing on screen just now where I was kind of going in and out of the storm while in green water. And you could see that I was healing while outside of the storm. But when I went into the storm, I wasn't healing at all. So it's pretty simple. Like I said, a lot of people already knew that. But I've seen a lot of confusion of people saying it works in the storm for them or it doesn't work in green water. Works in the green water, doesn't work in the storm. When it comes to the Earthbender Mythic, a lot of people know this as an item that you can use to create cover. But it also has an attack that will do 300 structure damage, meaning you can destroy opposing players' cover very quickly. It'll one-shot a lot of trees and rocks around the island. Uh, you can use it to break bushes. You can also use it to break other people's like porta bunkers. It's not going to instantly delete them, but it... 300 structure damage is a lot and this will also do 85 damage to players which is a lot but the fire rate of this item isn't very good so I'm not sure if I would want to be using this as a, like a weapon often but using it to destroy cover is really good. You can also use these walls to break they're the barriers that you build with the earthbender mythic. You can use this to break walls and break into buildings if you know that somebody's camping in a building instead of going and challenging them the traditional way. You could just place your Earthbender Mythic and then you'll break the structures that the Earthbender Mythic interacts with and often catch those players off guard. Like the ice wall we had in Chapter 4, Season 4, you can use it to avoid fall damage. So if you jump off of anything that you're going to take fall damage from, if you hit the button to place a cover, so for me it's L2, uh, my ADS button is what makes me place the cover, if you do this while falling, your character will land in the animation of placing the cover and you will not take fall damage. Unlike the ice wall, you can only have one piece of cover out at a time. So if you place a piece of cover and then want to place another one, maybe to protect your back, you cannot do that at all. Um, and like I said, you can use it to avoid bushes or to destroy bushes and destroy cover. You can also use it to knock back opponents and potentially cause them fall damage. Because when you place the barricade, the people that are in front of it get kind of like launched away. You got to be careful when doing this near your teammates because I've had times where an enemy launched their teammate out of the cover and made it very easy to kind of focus and eliminate that player. But I'll have a clip on screen now of when I was on island and someone placed a wall and it almost knocked me off the island, but I did have the Cerberus dashes, so I was able to dash back onto island and fight that player. But if I didn't have the dashes or any 
way to avoid fall damage myself, then this could have been a pretty bad situation for me. Um, and just kind of keep that in mind. You can launch people away from yourself when using it. And that's going to be most useful on island. But if you're on any sort of mountain or high ground, it's potentially pretty helpful. The Airbender Mythic is a mobility item. I know a lot of people have talked about how quiet it is and how hard it is to find people using this, but it does actually show on visual audio for quite a distance. So if you go into the sound options and turn on visualized sound effects, you'll get little indicators on your screen of various sounds that players make, footsteps, gunfire, loot, cars, and even the Air Mythic. So if you've had a hard time finding people using it, or getting snuck up on because other people are using it, then potentially turning on visual audio can help you with that. You can also use this one to avoid fall damage if you do the double jump with it, or just go into like the animation where you get to travel. And the banana of the gods or Zeus medallion with the airbender mythic will allow you to travel faster and jump higher. Also having the flowberry effect affects the airbender mythic as well. So. The things that improve your speed affect this item. Uh, also, any slap barrels you can get to get the unlimited sprint will give you unlimited sprint, obviously, and that applies to this mythic because you can sprint using this uh, and go faster rather than just the regular animation. You can also use it when going into rifts or launch pads and you get the effect of rifting or you get the effect of padding but you're still in your airbender mythic form. So you can, you kind of just get like super high and you can fly around like that. Also, another thing about rifts right now is that cars are currently bugged when you go into a rift. When you drive a car through a rift, it's supposed to kick you out of the car and just give you the rift effect. Like uh, it would, even if you weren't in the car when you went in, there wouldn't be any difference. But right now it doesn't kick you out of the car. Uh, so you need to be mindful of fall damage because if you drive a car through a rift, you'll stay in your car now. But if you get out of the car while rifting, you will potentially die to fall damage if you get out when you're too high. And you can also get cars onto Loot Island because of this bug. Uh, one of my friends was recently telling me about a time where they drove a car through a rift thinking they were going to just, you know, glide on the island afterwards. But they, they stayed in their car and then they made the mistake of getting out of the car and then they got eliminated by fall damage. So I thought I would just kind of throw that one in here since we were talking about rifts. The Air Mythic can actually go uphill much better than cars. On incredibly steep hills, you're not going to be able to go up. But for most hills in the on the island, you're going to easily be able to travel up them with the Air Mythic much easier than you could any other item in the game. You can also travel on water using the Airbender Mythic without being impacted. But you will not get dashes from traveling over the green water. So if you think I'm going to, you know, travel over the green water with my airbender mythic, get some dashes on the way, that does not work. You'll have to actually get out of the airbender form and get into the water to get the dashes. Just gliding over it with the airbender mythic doesn't uh, give you dashes, but it does allow you to easily get across bodies of water, which is really nice in end games that end around water for sure. Uh, if you do have dashes, you cannot use them while in the travel mode of the Airbender Mythic. It'll just make you do the double jump uh, effect that it has. So keep that in mind. You cannot use dashes with the Airbender Mythic. You can have them on your character. Like it's not going to take your dashes away, but it's just not like you can be traveling around as an Airbender and Cerberus dashing. The Fire Medallion, I feel like, or not Medallion, sorry. The Firebender Mythic, I feel like doesn't have as much to talk about. It doesn't actually light things on fire for some reason. So if you were thinking that you were going to use this to flush people out of cover or out of bushes or out of buildings or anything like that, the Firebender Mythic does not actually light things on fire. But like the Airbender Mythic and like the Earthbender Mythic, you can use this to avoid fall damage if you do the ground pound attack with it from any sort of height. You'll land in that animation and then you won't take fall damage. For me, once again, it's just L2. I play on controller. If you play on controller, it's probably L2 or left trigger, depending on what controller you use. I would imagine on keyboard, it's your ADS button, but I could be wrong. Uh, but that is something that may or may not be helpful. I wouldn't really carry the Earthbender Mythic or the Fire Mythic exclusively to avoid fall damage. But if you're going to be carrying these items anyways, it could be helpful to know that you can use it to avoid fall damage in any situation using the cover of the earth mythic or the ground pound attack of the fire mythic and then the final thing i wanted to talk about on this update is that the god chests in the underworld or mount olympus biome now drop two weapons every time you open them which is really good 
because these used to drop a weapon in one of the god mythics but since the god mythics have been removed for the duration of the avatar event the god chest now dropped two guns so if you like landing in those biomes uh the god chest just got even better because now you get potentially two guns off spawn you might get like an, a shotgun and an ar both of high rarity uh it's really good and i feel like it makes those locations even better than they already were but that is going to be it for this video um, I hope you guys found it helpful. I know it was a bunch of like random situational tips, but I made a video like this in the past for the Midas update and you guys seem to really like it. So I thought I would make one for the avatar items. If you did enjoy it, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.